Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the flagship of the Pearl Yachts range. I'm on the Pearl 95. We got a 28 knot top speed at wide open throttle on this boat and an 18 knot cruise. You can do 380 nautical miles at that speed. Uh, sleeping for 10 guests and five crew on board and there are so many amazing features. I'm really forward, really looking forward to bringing this one to you today. Dan Jones is my name, you're watching Dan's Boat Life. I was gonna take this boat for a spin with you, but apparently this is not sunny enough for Majorcan conditions. So anyway, when we do have that opportunity, I'm gonna do that and bring it to you because V-Drive shaft, beautiful big MTUs, we've got 2,400 horsepower on this boat. She would be a lot of fun to get up and boogie and we will do that at another video for you. So um, I'm just gonna start up here on the flybridge. We're gonna work our way across the decks at the moment and then we're going to go down through the accommodation a little bit later basically because there's some guys doing some floor sanding next door and i've asked them to be quiet <laughs> so anyway come up here and we'll check out the fly bridge helm station so um, this is going to be a crude boat i see this boat being appealing to some of you guys who really want to maybe move up into your first large yacht i can imagine a couple of aussies um, sharing a boat like this and doing half of the summer each because we can only do 90 days at a time in the EU and something like this would be epic, just imagine. But just getting into what we have here up at the helm, uh, we've got our MTU controls, engine systems just here, we've got hydraulic uh, bow and stern thrusters, uh, spotlight just here, side power control, MTU displays just here. We've got triple flat screens across the front there, they are all multifunctional displays all our boat systems, Garmin by Data's, we probably have an autopilot on one of those, phone charging, Humphrey stabilizers, and then we've got two anchors on this one. They're also hydraulic. So a bit of phone charging or phone uh, storage just here that's drained and a couple of drink holders. Beautiful big helm chairs. These will go forward and aft, really, really nicely done. But just have a look down here. Another sensible feature that Pearl are doing See these batteries in here? So that's your emergency battery box. So if you did lose all your power, you're not up the creek without a paddle. So you will have house supply from that. I like seeing that, it's quite sensible. Now, the main helm is down there. We'll have a look at that a little bit later, but check out this mini bar up here. So we've got a couple of fridges underneath here. These are just pull out fridges just here. We have a barbecue just here a sink and some more storage and lots and lots of prep space. So if you're setting up for a great day, that's gonna be had up here. Now, above me is this fantastic roof uh, enclosure here, but this will all open up. So this concertine is back. So if you want the Mediterranean sun, which you are gonna want, it's quite gentle up here. You can really enjoy it. And then the pitches forward and the pitches aft. I mean, look at this, you know, we're not, out of the marina but even this is quite pleasant but this is where you're going to enjoy your days you have this wonderful l-shaped seating on the port side here there's storage underneath all of these seats this one is a fixed lower coffee style of table so a little bit of chilling would work here but then if you want to eat a meal you'd probably head over to this side and eight 10 people i mean it's designed for 10 guests so i'd say you're going to get 10 people around this table are going to be quite comfortable just here and I saw some more storage underneath um, but you can probably see what I think is one of the most coolest features for a boat like this it's the jet pool how cool is that that's good for a couple of people that's you've actually got some stairs just here so you can step up and gracefully enter your pool and then you don't want to have a swim just chill out here sorry but that's really really fun and I also like the fact that we've got protection from the sun up here. So if we we're in Sydney, um, you know, you still want to be able to protect yourself from the, the belting summer heat. You can do that. This extends out here electrically, and then you've just got this stainless steel support. So on the windy days, it's not going to flatter around and cause you to have to retract it. So that makes a lot of sense. Got a couple of sun chairs here. This is all teaked up here, but I just want to point out this is where you would deploy the life rafts if you are ever needed, or they would be stored there, um, which is always important but just pay attention to the glass. So you're sitting in your pool, you're on your sun lounge, your picture is not interrupted. 
by too many railings. So it's quite a nice vibe that carries throughout the boat. We're going to continue to see some of that. So let's let's head on down. I love love all this chunky stainless. How good's that? What a nice feature. So coming on down these stairs, in terms of a safety factor, you've got something to hold on to here, 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 and then you have a bar right here. So that feels quite secure. What we'll do, why don't you go? We'll go through this area, then we'll go around the bow and straight down to the tender storage in a second. But another table for 10 plus people. This one, the seats are a little bit deeper. So they're quite comfortable. You could hang out here all afternoon very comfortably. Now, the other thing worth pointing out, I didn't point out when I was up there, we actually have frosted glass windows which go up to the flybridge above the table here. So that's gonna bathe this area in a little bit of extra light and it just creates a nice vibe. This table's a beautiful big piece of teak. I like this insert here and the stainless steel leg is even quite a feature. I like it when they go to the extra mile, so to speak, for all those little details. Another mini bar just here with more fridges. So I got two Verifrigo fridges, one large one, and that could actually be an ice maker just there. And then a single stainless steel sink just here and a decent amount of prep space for your platters and what have you. This looks like, uh, yeah, emergency fuel shutoffs, all accessible in there. And we've got some firefighting in there and I've, I have been through the engine bay and I saw lots of stainless steel piping, which was cool. So, a little bit of storage, that's probably good for cleaning gear or like every boat in the world, the boat keys, <laughs> don't tell anyone. But we do have the all important wing station. So V drive shaft, bow and stern hydraulic thrusters and your engine control. So back in this thing in from here is gonna be a lot more realistic as opposed to trying to do it from up there. So let's, let's head straight forward. We'll keep this moving. It's a big boat, lots to see. Um, I'm gonna point out these doors when we get inside, but just pay quick attention to those. And this glass just here and the design of the cutout just there. This is a Bill Dixon design. He does always think about, I think maybe it's because he's British and the weather sucks in Britain. So they have to think about having a nice, uh, enjoyable experience indoors. I, I do actually think that's important or that comes into his mindset. Bill, if you're watching, let me know if I'm right. Um, so that's cool. And you'll see what I mean when we get inside. So come up here to the bow, plenty of protection by the way. So I'm 5'7", this is above my waist. So you're gonna feel secure if you're walking around here because you are quite high off the water. If you were new to a big boat uh, and that was unnerving, this is gonna put you at ease, but check this out. What a cool, cool place. Once again, I, I suspect 10 people are gonna be easily catered for up here, whether they wanna sit some of them around the table here and some on the sun lounge just there. So the whole party has got multiple zones. You've got upstairs, you've got down the back of the boat, and then you've got up the front here. But I'm walking around on these teak decks. I've got these pop-up lights all the way around, and we are under a removable sunshade. So that's pretty cool. That's a sail shade just there. Going forward, we've got our hydraulic anchors. So they're stainless chain that goes to Gao. Uh, two of them, of course, is a big boat, we're a 30 meter boat. And in here, you've got access into the chain locker. So you can see on either sides, stainless to Gao, plenty of chain, really well done. And a lot of space, as you would expect on a boat of this size. Um, little bit of storage, I suspect underneath there. I haven't actually gone inside that one. And these windows here, just soak that in. You're gonna see where they get to when we get inside the boat. That'll make sense a little bit later. Um, some seating, forward facing seating. That'd be a really nice place to hang out of an evening because you're quite private. You know, if you're the owner, you wanna get away from everyone else just to enjoy the sunset, uh, for example, that's gonna be nice. So we'll go this way and then we'll go down the port side of the boat. So, Coming down this way, we've got a couple of doors, which again, will make sense when we are making our way through the boat. So we have one opening door here, and then we have another one here, which you'll see in a second. And then this, most of you are gonna already work this out. This actually goes into the engine bay. So we'll check that out 
as well. We'll do that at the end of the video, I think. Before we go down, I just want to point out your caps and winches, big chunky lumars. You've got your foot button just here, manual bilge pump here. These, I'm pointing out with my feet, they are the courtesy lights. They're all the way around the decks. They're stainless steel and they're facing down. And I like how this has actually been um, designed. It's quite neat because everything is on, dis yeah, it's functional right now and now out of the way and it's beautiful. It's, that's quite cool. So come on down. This is cool. This is real beach club vibes. Um, there is a carbon fiber stand up shower on the port side and a really cool tender deployment system. So I love this. This is just a simple solution to uh, a common problem. So you just pull these two pins out here. This thing's on rails and it just slides onto the drop down swim platform here. And then you can deploy your tender engine and all straight in the water from here. Those stairs will actually uh, deploy as the platform drops down and you're all set up. But there's more to it. And I can't display that today because we're still in the marina. We've actually got drop down sides. So externally on starboard and port, we can drop down the terraces. What's good about that is, you know, there's lots of power catamarans coming into the market right now. They're cool, but look at where we are here in the med. The whole infrastructure is set up for mono holes. So if you've got a big power cat and you want that extra beam, you're paying for two berths. That's a lot of money. Whereas if you've got solutions like these terraces, you have the extra real estate when you want it and you fold it up and get rid of it when you don't need it. So I think that's quite cool. Passerelle on the starboard side, shore power underneath that. Um, and then we've got storage in all these lockers. And this is obviously hydraulically operated as is everything on the boat. So come up through here. We saw these doors on the Pearl 72, but just have a quick look at those. I think that's a nice, neat styling just there and we have emergency exit just here that's going to be for the engine bay so that's just there now i just love these james bond doors i'm just actually going to close it and reopen it because i think it's so cool i'm sorry this is this not a sign of ultimate success if you have a door like this i want one of these so <laughs> love it so come on inside this is great we'll actually close it behind us because uh matey next door is going to want to do his floor sanding but just soak this up we've got a high gloss interior finish and then we've got really nice white glossy roof panelings above us with mood lightings everything's been done incredibly stylishly and then we have this cabinetry on the starboard side with a massive tv feels like you're like sitting in your own private cinema to be honest like if you're sitting in here once again all 10 guests could enjoy this space. Oh, that's comfy. Yeah, that's really nice. Everybody could enjoy this space and have a movie night if you wish. You have all the blinds closed and it'd be quite cozy. But, but I told you to pay attention to something before. Uh, blinds open. <laughs> More James Bond features. How cool is that? How lovely is this? So, these are weatherproof doors, so they're proper big, strong stainless steel with huge, big rubber seals on them. And they actually, when they close, and they, they, uh, they set in uh, to the side of the boat like this. So no water's getting through that, but they electrically open and you have this beautiful picture, which at the moment is just looking at a San Lorenzo. But just imagine if there was stunning blue Mediterranean sea because of the cutout here and the glass windows, Bill Dixon has really thought about it. You can be kicking back in the lounge and just enjoying this picture, or you can be doing a lunch, just say the wind gets up a little bit too much in the Arvo, or like now, to be honest, I've been here in the Med for a couple of weeks, you get beautiful warm days, but we've had some cold days too. And eating at this table would be quite nice when it's below 20 degrees, but you can still enjoy your picture holiday vibe, which is what this gives to you. So I think I think that's great. Now going up that side, the port side is to the crew and galley, uh, but we're going to go starboard first. We're going to check out the master because it's pretty awesome. Um, on the same level. So you are you feeling very, very special. We're going to go up there in a second. This is the day head just here. Just have a quick look at that. Look at the look at the sink feature. How cool is that? Just the little details I'm noticing everywhere I look. 
So we have hanging storage. This is now through this door here, we are now entering into the master cabin. So you, you step in, you go down this one step here, you're on to this beautiful soft, you guys can't feel it, but uh, I can, the carpet's lovely. And then on, as soon as you enter, you have this, this, this sliding door here, you've got your own walk-in wardrobe with a safe. All of the cabins have safes, by the way. More hanging storage there. And then you get into this ladies area because all the ladies use these things to do their ladies things. So that's lovely for your ladies. And then you've got the blinds here. I think they're electric. And then you've got more pull down blinds here. So if you want privacy or lock out the light, you can. And you can dress this as you wish, but come check this out. How lovely is this? It's, it's a step up from what I saw on the Pearl 72 and the curves is the first thing that draws my attention. So it, from the amount of effort that it requires to make all these beautiful curves all the way around the boat, I appreciate that. But I'm also um, acknowledging it from the fact that it's not gonna hurt you. If you're in a seaway or you're rocking around, you're doing your thing uh, uh, offshore, you're never gonna hurt yourself as you walk around this boat because there's curves everywhere. You're just unlikely to clock yourself on the side and, and do damage. But let's just work our way around. We actually have your own nice little office just here on starboard. So this leather inserts, everything's electrically controlled just here with the, uh, the panel. So you can do your, your blinds and your shades and all that just from your little control station here. We've got drawers everywhere, all the way around. There's just more storage than you need. I won't open them all because it'll take too long, but they're just everywhere. Everything's soft clothes. Um, nice display cabinetry here. This was the windows. So remember how when we were up on the bow and I was talking about the windows, this is your picture out. We don't necessarily, oh, okay, here we go. They're gonna open electrically. Um, this is your view. This is your view in the morning when you choose to enjoy it. And let the light in and just transform this whole cabin. Isn't that, well, you can see for yourself, it's lovely. More nice little light features on the side of the bed here. Underneath the bed, all of these, we have uh, storage drawers on both sides. And again on, oops, get a towel stuck in there. Again on the side of the bed just here, more curves, lovely features, and then your own little uh, chill out area. This would even be good for, you know, similar to the 72, setting up a laptop, doing some emails in the morning and just staying away from everyone else in your own nice little private area. But check this out. This feels like a spa. <laughs> Look how much space we've got in here. So massive shower huge amount of space. You've got your own lounge. It doesn't end though. It doesn't end. Let's just close this door. You got a bath. How good is that? You got a bath with a fancy tap and a view. I mean, I, I just think that's so lovely. This, this head area is as big as some cabins on many boats. So it's just wonderful. You've got marble finishings all the way around. Really, really nicely done. I just, I think that's great. So, Exiting out of the master, we're gonna go check out all the guest cabins. So that's down a level. So we just go through here on the woolen carpet. We go up one step just here, and then we go down just in here. But I'm gonna go down first and then you follow me because I want you to appreciate the picture that uh, has clearly been thought about through the design process. It's quite lovely. You go down you've got a handrail on the port side, or on your left hand, I should say and you get welcome. Just now come down and appreciate this by this beautiful foyer type area with all of your, you know, you dress it however you like. How lovely is this? So let's go aft, we'll go into the VIPs, but lots of space to move around, dress this area as you wish, and then you've got the cabins forward and aft. Now, you've got the option to have one ginormous VIP back here, which would be full beam if you chose. But this one's got the two VIPs and it's been, it's been cleverly designed because we got our massive king bed here. So we've got a bulkhead, that's in the middle of the boat, that's separating us from the other cabin. But I've, I've walked through this uh, prior to turning the camera on. It's a really thick wall, 
big thick doors, rubber seals, and we're not sharing, the bed heads are not sharing the wall. So your sound insulation is great, which means the privacy between you and the other cabin is, is really, really good. So you have this window just here, so you can appreciate your, your views. You've actually got a dedicated place for some art on the wall. You've got your TV. Um, actually, there's lots of places for art around this boat. So if you're an art lover, you will appreciate this. You've got more drawers for storage underneath the beds. We're seeing these rounded edges everywhere. So lots of curves. So no danger of clocking yourself and hurting your legs in a seaway. And then more storage underneath. And just pop the camera around here. And you've got your own private head and shower. And this little makeup area. I'm going to call that a makeup area because I think it is. With more storage. So you've got hanging you've got shelves and you have a safe in here. So isn't that cool? More storage in here. Let's head out. And so then we just go to the starboard side and basically it's a mirror image. So we'll just brush through this one, but it's everything that we saw on the port side, but now the bed head is on the starboard side just here. Again, looking at the TV down the center line and then we go down here and we've got the same setup with the makeup area and the head. So that's nice. But just on the way out, I just want you to pay attention to the thickness of this door because that's really chunky and it's heavy. And then just see the rubber seals along here. So that's great. That's really, really good. So no, um, that's going to stop any timber sounds when the boat's uh, you know, battling through some waves and it's going to give you really good sound insulation. So we're back into this foyer area again. I just want you to have a look down here, just it's more for the crew, but we've got a vacuum cleaner. So it's got central vac plumbed throughout the boat for keeping all this lovely carpet in good condition. And it's it's very thick carpet. So you do, you do notice when you're walking around. So coming here, now, looks like two singles, because it is right now, but see these tracks on the floor? You can actually, now it's this one, this bed on the center line can move in and join up and create a double. So both of these cabins, it's possible to do that. And then we have drawers underneath both beds. All of our air conditioning and lighting is controlled individually in each cabin. And then we've got place for artwork. We get, we've got lights, you can turn the lights off as you enter the cabin uh, next to the door, or you can do them uh, when you're in bed so you don't have to get out of bed before you turn down for the night. We've got our proper hanging storage, we've got our safe, as I said, in every cabin, and some storage below. And then I'll just get out of the way so you guys can have a look in the loo. How's that? Lots of space, very luxurious, and we've still got that marble on the sides, which is lovely. And I did want to point out, we've got TVs, smaller TVs in these cabins, but it's still a decent size Samsung flat screen just there behind the door. And then we go, across to the starboard side and we have another mirror image but this time it is so it's this bed here on the center line which comes together and joins up with the other one and you can see we've got these tracks and this is where the bolt would go in to lock it into place um, essentially everything else is mirror image just pointing out the nice little reading lights so you can just have those on if you don't want to have all the down lights on and just have a quick look at the head, that's just there. Very cool. So let's keep this moving. Let's head up this flight of stairs. And what we're gonna do, so now we're on main deck, we're on the starboard side. We do have the option for the skipper to exit the boat from this door just here. I'm not gonna open that, we're just gonna go straight up to the bridge, here we go. Now, this is cool. Once again, I think Bill Dixon's been thinking about utilizing the space to the best of his ability. So everywhere around us, behind me, we have this styling feature, but it's actually doubles as storage. So you, there's always things you need to put places on boats. and. They've just thought about it. So behind me, all the way along there, and on the other side, it's all storage. Um, and then it, the theme continues. But let's just check out 
let's just check out the helm. So we've got, this would be good for charts just here. Let's have a look under here. We've got more storage just there. We have our MTU for the starboard motor just here and for the port motor just there. We've got our uh, bow and stern hydraulic thrusters. So these are gonna be um, variable speed thrusters just here. Uh, throttle control, VHF, and note that we have six screens just here. So they're all multifunctional. We've got a few cameras linked in in various parts of the boat right now, but we can do everything from these. It's very, very useful. We've got our Humphrey stabilizers over there on port side power control and another storage unit just there. But the cool features continue. This is obviously a lovely place to hang out on passage, but your little coffee table just here, this bolt actually pulls out and the whole thing slides along. So if you, if you want to kick back here with the stabilizer on and a cup of coffee whilst you're doing 10 knots to San Tropez, you can. Or if you want to lay out and have a little snooze while you're up here, you can just push this coffee table out of the way and set this up as somewhere to sleep. I think that's quite cool. Um, there is, uh, oh, I did see some more storage. I think this was just a storage area here. So captain's always gonna have a necessity to store items. So that's good to see just there. And we've got a control panel. This is gonna be for basically all the boat's systems. This is gonna be like the heart of the boat to operate from up here. As you can see, um, everything is gonna be monitored from here, but there's gonna be more of that as we head down below. Obviously this just here, is the door to get up onto the flybridge. So from a skipper's perspective, going from here to there is a, a, sh a short passage and then getting out onto the decks, it's also a short passage to this door just here. But now let's think about the rest of the crew. So we'll head over here on the port side, a little bit of storage, and we come through this sliding door. So sliding door here, remember the other door I pointed out as we're going down the port side, that's just here. So your crew can actually, if you or they choose, be totally invisible because we have a wonderfully big galley in here, really, really well set up. This is a commercial style of galley. Look at all the cooking facilities, refrigeration, water. We've got all storage for all your spices up here. We've got a dishwasher in here, four cookers just here. Um, you know, it, it goes on. Um, so you can do all the meal prep and then just straight out and serve as you need. If you need to, if you know, if you, if you need to head out on deck, you go through that door. And then for the crew, uh, well, we also have a large fridge in here as well. There's refrigeration everywhere on this boat. So in here, first thing I'm gonna point out is actually in here. So this, the light comes on automatically. Check it out. That's gonna be important from time to time to be able to get in and manage all your systems. So it's nice that that's easily accessible and you can actually get in there. Let's head on down. So here's the crew mess. We're now deep and low and we've got facility for four or five people to get comfortable around the table here and eat a meal because this table will open up and double in size, so can be done. Um, I like the way that they've dressed this area, so you do still feel quite special. It's not like a, a huge drop in quality uh, when you get into the crew area, but let's get straight into the captain's quarters because he's got a decent size, he or she I should say, decent size bed, hanging locker there, proper toilet, just have a quick look in there and your own separate shower plus a TV. Everything's air conditioned, they've got all their own controls. The crew have got a TV just there. And then as we go forward, we've actually got a shared toilet and shower. It's all quite nice. And then the accommodation it's actually mirror image. So if you have a look now, you can see the shape of the boat starting to come into an effect because we're, we're essentially up in the bow here. So we have two, um, I, I would call them large singles because they're quite wide. We've got these storage lockers underneath here 
and then we have proper hanging storage in here as well. So they're gonna be well catered for. I had a look underneath the floor here and here. So you do actually, you're right into the bilge once you get under here and you get access to your bilge pumps, um, uh, you know, and all your essentials under there. But let's, let's, I think you're more interested in having a look into the engine room. Before I get there, underneath these stairs is a ginormous storage area here. You, it's like, you could almost put a motorbike in there. So longer term storage items or bulky items would be good underneath those stairs. So let's head out, we'll go out the back door because I just want to use the James Bond door again because it's cool. Look at the detail on the floor here, isn't that nice? Very well done. So, <laughs> this one never gets old. So we go around here. One thing I didn't point out, which we have on both port and starboard, is side doors just here. So they swing out and we have another one on the starboard side. And this, my friends, is the engine room access. So we've got the MTUs on this boat. Um, we have the option, uh, it comes standard with Caterpillar C32s, the option of MTU to 2400 horsepower, or you could also go to the 2600 horsepower. I'll just wait till you guys get down and join me. But hopefully this is gonna put it into perspective because this, whereas on the Pearl 72, we were struggling a little bit for volume and head height, we are certainly not in this engine room. So we have the 2,400 horsepower MTUs. We're on a V-drive shaft. So that means the motors are facing this way. Then they go through a V-drive and it sends the shaft out that way. That allows us to get all of that space and accommodation downstairs because the, we can mount the engines further aft in the boat. Now you're probably wondering where the rest of the big weight is. So that's the, the fuel tanks. That's actually low and forward. So we can't see it right now. But if you just imagine um, forward of me, your 10,000 litres of diesel is actually in that location below the floor. Um, so we can see our exhaust just here. Um, hot water, we have two gen sets on this boat. So we've got one on each side, they're cola gen sets just there. Underneath me here is actually going into the beach club. So you, it's still an accessible crawl space. I can quite easily get in there. You can see our shore power, we've got our water maker, we've got our other gen set just on port there. We have a second water tank, so um, you're never gonna run out of water on this one because they're both quite decent sizes. And then I can see uh, hydraulics up on the forward bulkhead and power distribution as well with our extractor fans. Fireboy system is massive, as you'd expect on a big boat. And your batteries, um, from what I can see, most of the batteries are over here on the port side because I saw chillers on the starboard side. So all of your banks are on their own shelves are all individually and neatly laid out just there. I'm guessing that's the vacuum. I don't actually know. Smart deco. I think that's the vacuum that I, I saw, but I could be wrong. Leave a comment uh, in the description below if I'm wrong. So come on up, guys. Um, I did see something in here. I think that I need, oh no, no, that was just more storage access. So that's the boat. Let's, let's go back upstairs because it's so cool. Um, I believe some of you guys who are thinking about your first big boat, crude boat, could see a lot of value in this Pearl 95. The reason I believe that is because it's quite well suited to charter. Your crew are gonna be comfortable. They can operate quite successfully on this design of boat and this will charter very well. If you decide to do a couple of seasons in the med, first off, say you and a mate buy the boat, you can option it so you have those two beautiful master cabins. That's gonna be really, really awesome because you can both share a side of summer each and charter the boat uh, when you're not on board. And then once you've done your med season, ship it home to Sydney, do your awesome Sydney Harbour day boat thing, take it to Queensland in the winter, can you get any better? Seriously, I, I think that's just such a good prospect and it's because they're built at quite a price advantage, it makes a good business case for having a boat.
if that's what you're thinking. Guys, I hope that was useful to you. I hope you enjoyed it. Do subscribe, give us a like if you like the content. I'm gonna leave a link to the other Pearl, the Pearl 72, me going for a drive on the screen right now. Check it out if you wanna see what it's like to get behind the helm of one of these Pearl yachts. Thanks guys.